hello and welcome to my youtube channel powerpoint university in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a trifold brochure design in powerpoint which is simple but elegant so let's see how to create this slide in powerpoint go to insert select shapes and select a rectangle make the height as 6.6 .6 and the width as 3.5 inches make it no outline go to format background and give the background color to light gray and change to white background of the rectangle select the rectangle press ctrl d and make three rectangles so we've got three rectangles now which is placed side by side and there should not be any gap in between go to insert shapes and select parallelogram you can adjust the parallelogram with the help of the small orange point there you can give any color as you like in this case I'm using some uh, uh, blue Press Ctrl D, make one more and give some different color. Increase the size. And send back. Don't say send to back, otherwise it will go uh, beneath the white background then. Press Ctrl D again. Change the color to somewhat light orange. and at the end you can create one more rectangle Yeah, so the, the bottom design we have finished. So let's concentrate on the, the top design, the above design. Go to shape, select rectangle, draw the rectangle. Make it no outline and give the same color. Go to insert again, shapes and select right triangle. And draw the triangle exactly at the corner make it no outline same color and rotate it
and the last one which I'm going to use some light gray color And I'm going to use some icons here. Place the icons at the extreme right corner. Add oval shape. Make it no fill with the black background. The height and width should be 0.39 inches. Press Ctrl D and make three ovals and select the oval and put it on top of the icon. Last one, make sure that you are not going, you are not selecting any other object. In this case, it's difficult. You can zoom it or you can just bring it to the left side and then you can select it. it select both all the three icons go to format align and make it distribute horizontal and align on top that's perfect now I'm going to add some text here some headings some headlines type your One part I'm making it bold. going to add some lines now here and some <coughs> headlines so it basically I'm just going to fill the the slide so you can add your subtitle here insert a underline for this and you can press the shift key so that it will come a perfect straight line and here i'm just going to show you one more feature which is very good i'm just going to type some text so i'm just using equals to l-o-r-e-m and one within brackets and when you press enter key it will give you some latin text automatically so you don't need to write but this is just I'm going to use for my design purpose but in your case you have to use it 
your own text so i'm just deleting some text here make it some numberings and reducing the size as well as changing the font color Ctrl D and bring it to the middle. it too much text otherwise the design will go for a toss so make sure that your slides are always with uh, minimal text and more of the designs or graphs i'm just going to add some arrow designs for these points almost ready i'm going to give some uh, a trifold paper effect for this one to do that one select the rectangle press ctrl d and under format make it gradient fill i'm going to use two points here uh, the right side i'm just going to use a black color and to the left side to left stop i'm using the white color and I'm making the transparency level to 100%, make it full transparent. And for black, I'm making it almost like 87 or 88%. So it will give you like it's a trifold uh, brochure and place it to the, the right side. And you can just make sure that it is dragged towards the right side. Press Ctrl D and rotate it. horizontal 
and bring to the the left side and you can just send to back or send backward so that uh, while you can go and change your text this will not be a hindrance otherwise it will not allow you to type some text there or edit the text so that's fine i'm just going to give some more or minor design changes here make it the same outline and shape will make it no fill and the transparency level increased to maybe 60 to 70 percent and put it here add one more and make it down as usual send to back you can if you want you can more add more uh, shapes or designs there but uh, too much or too many will not be uh, good for the slide So this is the end result. Uh, our brochure is ready. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.